Hey, what's happening guys? Welcome to Metro Exodus Enhanced. I really want to see these new graphics and a bit of history. I played all Metro games, beat all of them. I really, really love these games. Exodus, I really, really love. I find it's one of the best open world games, even though you can't really consider that because the maps are very small. But I really, really enjoy what they do with the game. Let's check it out. Go down the memory lane or something, no? Yep. Metro Exodus is a groundbreaking, story-driven first-person shooter combining a brutal fight for survival this with dynamic exploration, unforgiving combat, and heart-pounding stealth. The environment Built in this using game? developer 4A Games' proprietary engine insane. was and remains a state-of-the-art graphical masterclass. Yeah, true that. With the release of the Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 consoles, and the powerful new range of PC FPS. GPUs, Deep Silver and 4A Games are proud to announce a radical update to the game, leveraging also, the full the ray best tracing NPCs power of next in any generation game. hardware. Your team actually Welcome feels like your to the team. new definitive version of Metro Exodus, available as a free upgrade for all owners of the original game. Oh. That's ray me. tracing is one of the biggest and I do have technological ray tracing, leaps forward it. in real-time rendering. Yeah. And for this release, 4A Games have completely overhauled their engine to provide a fully ray-traced lighting pipeline. Yeah, only made PS4 possible PS5 by the technology Xbox, powering next-gen consoles and ray-tracing capable PC GPUs. Every single light source is now fully ray-traced, providing a richer, more believable and atmospheric game world. Wasn't that from the DLC with the American guy? That Soft, part? diffuse light penetrates through clouds. Accurately illuminating the landscape across seasons and the day-night cycle, adding game. depth and authenticity beyond the use of traditional lighting systems. Not just the Interiors game, but the on the surface world feature realistic light and shadows, the changing with the position, intensity, and hue of sunlight, making the strategic use of dark areas when playing stealthily feel more natural and yep. dramatic. Yep. With the inclusion of ray-traced emissive lighting, this simulation even extends to dynamic light produced by campfires muzzle flashes, the cannibals, incendiary grenades, and flamethrowers. Wow, that looks so To complement these dramatic advances in lighting and overall visual fidelity and performance, the included 4K texture pack adds an unrivaled level of detail to everything from gun models the rust. to Spartans, structures, and enemies. The addition of a field of view slider will give users the ability to widen their field of vision to suit their preferred play PC, style, yeah. or just soak in the view. Yeah, absolutely, man. There are parts of this game Series where you just soak X it in. On PlayStation 5, Metro Exodus will now run at a rock-solid 60 frames per second at 4K resolution. That's good. With full ray-traced global illumination and emissive lighting implemented throughout. On Xbox Series S, Metro Exodus outputs at 1080p, 60 frames per second, with all other enhancements applied. Next-gen consoles will also benefit from dramatically reduced loading times thanks to the lightning-fast SSD storage Obviously. and additionally will support a host of platform-specific hardware features including 3D audio and support for the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. In the bus, at the church, or the cemetery, the graveyard. The Metro Exodus PC Enhanced Edition is what much more than a patch. Delivered as an extra entitlement to PC owners of the game, this extensive standalone edition requires a ray tracing capable GPU as a minimum system requirement. I have it. The PC Enhanced Edition also includes advanced ray traced reflections, as well as DLSS 2.0 support on wow. NVIDIA hardware, the which offers sharper man. image details and increased frame rates and display resolutions. It does only Metro, nothing else. All of these enhanced features will be provided as a free upgrade on PlayStation 5 via smart delivery on Xbox Series X and S and as a standalone enhanced edition for PC, rewarding current players with the definitive version of this post-apocalyptic masterpiece. And for newcomers, the Metro Exodus Aided Complete Edition offers the original game, both DLC expansions and all these enhancements in one incredible bundle. This update represents the perfect opportunity to experience the journey of Artyom and his squad of Spartans this scene, in a man, continent spanning adventure like really rendered with a level of detail, realism makes and immersion like, you belong like never to that family. before. If you know what I'm saying. 
God damn. When's Metro 4 coming out? <laughs> and of course it's free if you're on the game, that's perfect. Um, June 18th, there you have it. I mean, this game is like something else, really. Like I said, you know that scene in the train where everybody's like, they're all the NPCs, like you really feel like you're part of the family. And I find they did an excellent job developing the NPC to be uh, somewhat realistic, not for everybody, um, but somewhat realistic. Um, and like really, like you care for all of them, you know? And I'm not going to spoil anything anyway. So I'm going to stop right here. You just care for all of them. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, like, no, the graphics out of this world. The monster is really original. The environment is perfect. The world building they got, it's really, really good. The open world, which I'm not a huge fan of open world games, but I think this one does it right because the maps are fairly small and they're packed. And the way you discover locations, you know, binoculars and whatnot really makes a lot of sense. And beyond that, you know, behind the open world, you also have, like, so many segments where everything's, like, set up for you to go in a certain way, right? Uh, everything's predetermined. And, like, you have, like, these incredible action scenes or, like, these incredible tense scenes. And that really fits the, the game, I believe. You know, because you go from a from a open world to, like, a cinematic sequence, like, open world, like, another cinematic, and so on and so forth. It's really cool, depending on where you go in the open world. Um, it's it's really, really a job well done. I mean, again, the, the attention to detail in this game is out of this world. It's, goddamn, it's really, really good. I really can't wait for a sequel. I'll pre-order that stuff right now. If they just announced it, I'm going to pre-order because it's really, really worth it. And all the games are like that. The whole, this is like, if you have never played Metro, you definitely have to play. Start with the first one, go through it. They're all very good. They all get better and better. But even the first one, I think, like, still holds up today. I'm pretty sure, anyways. Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.